Hey Troop Geologist Method, I'm on Turns of Channel today with a special Christmas review for you guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Toy Workshop, set number 40106, ages 7 plus, comes with 107 pieces and is actually free. It was an exclusive set, I believe in October or maybe November if you spent a certain amount of money at Lego stores or Lego Online. They do this quite a lot. Once again, uh, this is fairly big compared to you know, the majority of exclusive ones. Generally, you might get like a poly bag of a certain minifigure or something. But no, actually, they're giving a full size, well, not full size, but you know, a little set with a couple of figures. And I'm personally really enjoying this. This is my first ever Lego Create, well, pro proper Lego Creator set. You get a couple of elves, by the way. If you didn't know, I do have never got a Lego Creator set properly. I've never got a Santa or any elves, so this will be a first time for me as well. And of course, because Christmas is coming up, I wanted to celebrate it by opening this for you guys. You can see limited edition 2014. So yeah. So, uh, what did I say about the set? Well, clearly it's just it's a very little set, it's just a little exclusive one. However, saying that, it is pretty big for exclusive, and I think I like the way Lego's going, because remember earlier in the year. You know, you got like this sort of a set, you got a poster, you got this other little potty bag, which are all for free, and now we're getting this, and I like the way Lego's going with this, I've got to be honest, you know, so, yeah, but anyway, without further ado, let's open this thing, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we are, back after that build. It was actually a fairly long build, considering the size of the set. It took me about 15 minutes, so... You know, but uh, even so, it was a decent build, I guess. There wasn't really anything particularly special about it. Uh, however, there was a little issue, the fact that I couldn't find the tools that said I needed for the set. But in actual fact, the tools... The bag was stuck on the inside of the box. You may have seen that in the speed build. But <laughs> so, yeah, but anyway... So yeah, really, this is the set, it's pretty basic, pretty nice though, however, if you're into these LEGO Creator, and if you like to get the um, winter sets, that I think they come out at the end of every year, then this will definitely be a very nice addition to your collection, I'm not sure how common elves are, maybe they're pretty common, maybe they're not, but even so, it's pretty nice to get a couple of these, you obviously get a man alien, <laughs> alien, elf, and a female alien, <laughs> elf, I don't know why I keep calling them aliens, but whatever, uh, but yeah, so I think let's just get into the set then. Here we have, well, I don't really know what to call him, just basically the male elf. He's holding a drill. There are multiple tools in the set, so I'll show you a minute. Just take that off. Just a usual drill. You see here, pretty nice printing, actually. Generally, you don't get as much printing on these sort of things. But no, actually, the printing is pretty nice. Got a bit of back printing. Got his hammer in his back pocket there. And because his elf, obviously, he's small, so his legs are shorter. The only issue I've got with shorter legs is the fact that obviously you can't move them. Other than that, though, I don't really mind them that much. So, yeah. This is his face. He does have a two-sided face. Oh, no, sorry, he doesn't. <laughs> sorry, I think that's the female one. I don't know why the female has a two-sided face, but he does not. I don't know why. As you see here, the, L, uh, the ears are connected to the actual hat of the elf. Ooh, hang on. Okay, uh, I, I, I guess that was, you know, pretty smart, like, rather than connecting to the actual head, rather than making a whole new mould, just sort of, but anyway, see so here, the hat though is pretty basic, it's just one colour, so it is that so, nothing really much to say about him, just see the printing, it's pretty nice to have an elf though, I've never had an elf before. I still don't have Santa, I'm going to get Santa in some sort of set. But of course that's because I collect Lego Star Wars and not, you know, creator sets really. But someday I will get Santa. <laughs> but even so, that's our male elf. Moving on to our female elf now. Alright, so here we have our female elf. You see she's got a scarf around. 
on it because it is pretty cold in the North Pole. She comes with a paintbrush. However, you do get a spare paintbrush actually. I didn't show you the spare pieces. You do get a number of them. But you do get a spare paintbrush. So that's kind of cool, I guess. She's got nothing to paint on. She's got no paint or anything. But even so, as the box art shows, she is painting the train, which I'll show you in a minute the little toy train. So, yeah, the back printing. Pretty basic, nothing really spectacular here. Her legs and torso are different colours to the male one, obviously. If I can find them, there he is. So they are different, yeah. Her hat though is exactly the same, and the ears of course are attached. You see the first facial expression is her being happy, the second one is her sort of, I don't know, scared or something. I don't know why she should be scared really. <laughs> don't know why she has two facial expressions and the man doesn't, but even so. Okay, so there you go. Nothing I'm going to say there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's just our female elf. Now we're going to get into the presents, or the toys, whatever, and then we'll get into the actual set, and there you go. So first up with the toys, we're going to start with this, I don't really know what it is. I guess like a uh, digger, or something, you know, in construction, what they're called. The thing that pushes the rubble. <laughs> you know what they're called. Um, it's extremely simple. There's literally nothing to it. I think you can just work out how to make it just from looking at this. It comes with like, what, five, six, seven, eight pieces, this thing. So it's not exactly the most detailed in the world. But, you know, it's pretty basic. Pretty nice little toy. I'm glad they included it. Nothing really to say there. Let's just move on to the next one. What we have is this little train. Pretty cool. Again, extremely basic. Nothing to really say here. Got the green. And on the box art, she's painting this little train because her paintbrush does have green paint on the end of it so she's painting it but anyway uh... yeah really that's the little train nothing spectacular about that it's just a little train then we got a couple of presents nothing amazing here just a couple of standard presents one of which is red with a white bow on top the other one is green with white ribbon and a white bow on top so yeah those are a couple of presents Again, nothing particularly special there. <laughs> Again, this is like an exclusive set. It's just, you know, it's, it's a free set, so it's not exactly going to be the most detailed and most intricate set of all time. But just sort of saying that that's it. I'm still glad they added these little added things, though, because, you know, it, it helps to improve the scene. So, yeah, uh, and then you get, you get a little man, and I'll show you that, and then we'll get on the extra set. All right, here's your little man, your little soldier, I believe. He reminds me of, like, those British soldiers, actually. You know, the ones that never move, regardless of what you do, you know, with the big... Hats made out sort of like panda fur. <laughs> there's little, just those little toy soldiers, you know. So, there you go. Literally nothing to do. I, I suppose you can move his arms if you want to. You know, but it's like it's not really that important. And I suppose you can spin him. But again, nothing amazingly special there. Pretty cool. Actually, he, I believe, is taller than the elf, which is kind of funny. Or about as tall as the elf. <laughs> so, imagine if you had a life size, you know, soldier toy. That'd be kind of cool. But even so, he's still pretty cool. I'm glad they added him. So yeah, I'm glad they didn't just give us like some generic presents, like like a ton of these sort of things. I'm glad they actually gave us like a few, couple of little toys, you know. Just to sort of add that in. So yeah, uh, and I think now we're just getting the actual little mini set there. Alrighty, so here we are. We got, it's actually pretty nice. It feels pretty good in hand, I've got to be honest. You know, for an exclusive set, it doesn't feel like the worst in the world. Like, you know, I, it, it feels... Fairly decent. Uh, we'll just start here. We've got a little crate here with some of the tools. As you came with a lot of tools in the set. You can see there, that's like a hammer. We've got a, I don't know what that's called. And we've got like this thingy used for cars. I don't know what they're called. Whatever, that's the crate. Nothing particularly special there. Here, oops. Well, you've got a light, which can swivel if you really want to. It's pretty loose, which I'm not sure that's intentional. Maybe it's just my set, but I like the fact it's pretty loose. Because it, it feels more like an actual sort of lamp. Move that up there though. You can see there we have some more tools. Pretty nice. I don't know what they're meant to be. Like cans of something. Uh, I don't know what they're meant to be. Maybe coffee. <laughs> you got a oil can there. Of course all these tools are attachable and you can put them in the hands of the people. You got a something here. Don't know what that is at all. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of a tap of some kind. I don't know what that is. Oh wait, maybe it's like a, a vice. If you don't know, 
in um, what you do, you can put like something in there and you can just saw through it. Like you know, it keeps it stable. I mean, uh, I'm not sure if any of you have any idea what I'm talking about. If you've like done DNT at school, design technology, then you'll know what I'm talking about. So yeah, we've got a couple of little windows here. They open outwards, like so. But I guess if you put the windows in the other way around, you can open them inwards if you really want. But it's kind of pointless. So yeah. Nothing really to say there. They they are pretty gold, so that's pretty nice. That's cool. You got you have some kind of gold tinted pieces here. Oops, I knocked the can off. Oh well. The roof you got here, pretty simple. I don't know if that's white meant to replicate um represent the snow that's falling outside, but even so, hang on. Ooh, gosh, it's falling apart. Okay, it can move up if you really want it to, because it's just it's down on these hinges, um, but. It's not really meant to. It's really at your discretion if you want to move it up, then sure, but you know, there you go. And that is basically it. There's really nothing more to see. Oh, yeah, you've got these little pieces here. I've never seen this before in any other sets other than like the Monster Fighter sets, which I never got. So I've never got these pieces. That's pretty cool. Of course, you only get two, so, but even so, they're still pretty cool. Yeah, this is actually a kind of strange color, the color of this plate. Uh, I have seen it before, but like perhaps in, like if you've got the Moss Eyes Cantina type sets, you'll see um, pieces with this sort of colour. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, not a very nice co looking colour actually. Not the same colour as that. That's more. I don't know, it's hard to explain the differences here. These aren't brown, by the way. If they look brown in the camera, they are slightly dip, um, lighter. But yeah, uh, that is basically it then to this workshop. Obviously, a very simple, very little set. I think let's now get on into the instructions and the box and we'll finish this review. Alright, so with the instruction manual, the instruction manual is actually pretty large considering the size of the set. I mean, I, you know, this is considerably larger than, say, battle pack. I would expect an instruction manual maybe a battle pack sort of size or maybe even smaller. Maybe like, you know, those little ones you get with like the poly bags. But no, there's actually a fairly, you know, it's got a good size to it. You can fold it. Obviously, it comes fold in the box. Nothing really to say there, though. I love this sticker, though, on it. New edition 2014. It just makes it feel so much more authentic, so much more valuable, I guess. Just got the, you know, usual, I'll oh, do this, do that, etc. There's actually a fair amount of pages to it for the size of the set. You know? What is that? 28 pages of build. Got all the pieces here. It does got 107 pieces, so about the same as a batter pack. So, basically, you're getting the equivalent amount of a batter pack for free. That's what I mean when I say this is actually good value. Because, I mean, obviously, I'd rather have a batter pack just because of figures and all that. But even so, you're getting, pieces wise, you're getting about the same. So, it's, yeah. And the, these are the other um, sets I was talking about. Every year, at the end of the year, they have a LEGO Creator winter sort of set. You got this. Got this one, you got this is Santa's workshop. I really want one. Well, no, I don't really want to get that, but you know, I definitely wouldn't mind having that. It, it looks pretty cool. It is for tw 12 plus, so it seems pretty intricate. And you got the other modular sets, which we've seen before. Some people are into that. I'm not 100% into that. I just. Not those. Oh, yeah. And that's basically the instruction manual then. Pretty simple, but it's actually considerably large considering the size of the set. So, uh. But yeah, you know, if Legolas doesn't mind making a large instruction manual, then I don't mind having one. Alright, so onto the box. The box is pretty basic. It's actually pretty square. I'm actually liking the look of this box, you know, rather than the usual rectangular one. On the back of the box here, we've got uh, the scene. We've got the elves with their toy. And you see there, he's trying to put it in the vise. Got toys along here. The tools. All that. Size so comparison. Uh, and again, uh, this kind of exclusive set, it comes with a piece count, which it normally doesn't on these European sets. God knows why. <laughs> now, who knows why they don't come with a piece count on these European sets, but they don't for some reason. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, yeah, really, nothing really more to say. As you can see, the 2014 sticker there, I do like that sticker. I wish they put on more sets, like more exclusive sets, I mean. But yeah, so then, I think that is about it to the set. I think let's now go and conclude this review. Alright, so here we are. I've got to say, I do enjoy the set. It's definitely in no way a bad set. You know, it's a cool little set, and quite frankly, you know, I do recommend picking this up. I mean, I don't think you can get any more. It wasn't exclusive. Really, I don't, I wouldn't really recommend 
specifically going online to buy this separately. I mean, if you're into the Lego Creator um, sets with like the winter sort of village and stuff, that maybe yeah, I would recommend picking this up. Say on Bricklink, whatever. It shouldn't go for that much money, really. You know, it's a cool little set, and quite frankly, I enjoy it. So you know, I'm sure you will as well. But anyway, so yeah, that is my sort of, I suppose, Christmas video for my alternative channel. There will obviously be a main Christmas video on my main channel on Christmas Day. Uh, and if for some reason you've only been following the second channel, then please go over and subscribe to my main channel. And of course, this channel as well. Uh, there will be many things to come on this channel. Hopefully, I'll be getting some sets of Christmas that won't be Star Wars. So, they'll be reviewed and uploaded onto this channel. So, I hope you enjoy those. As well as reviewing some of my uh, custom, like I got some custom me figures from eBay. I'll be doing those on each channel as well. But anyway, anyway, so this set is pretty nice and I'm going to say I do recommend it. I'm going to give it a solid 8, 9 out of 10 maybe. You know, because this is a nice set. You know, there's really nothing I can say wrong with it. I, I like the elves. I like everything about it. There's, it, It's just a pretty decent little set and quite frankly, I do recommend, if you can, that you pick one up. Anyway though, so that is my review of the workshop. Set number 40106. Uh, I do recommend, as I said. If you enjoyed watching this, please do give it a like down below. It really does encourage me. Uh, also, please leave your thoughts and questions down in the comments. I will probably I will get around to answering them at some point. However, because of my alternative channel, it may be some time that I'll get around to answering them. But I will at some day. <laughs> and also, please subscribe to this and my second channel. I know I don't upload on this channel very frequently at all. Sorry about that, but even so. I will get around to it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my main channel to see my main Christmas video. I hope you'll really enjoy it. Uh, and, yeah, I hope you have a very nice day and a very nice 2015. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, troops.